this press conference given by Dr. Filippatos, and he will present us the results of the heart, heart failure trial, phenerenone versus eplerenone in patients with worsening chronic heart failure with type 2 diabetes and or chronic kidney disease. And these thank are the main results of the trial. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to present the results of the ASH heart failure trial in a very high risk population of patients with worsening chronic heart failure and diabetes and or chronic kidney disease. On behalf of the, my co-chair, Professor Pitt, and the committee investigators of uh, the trial. And these are my disclosures. As uh, it is well known, the um, mineracorticoid steroid receptor antagonist, such as eplerenone and spironolactone, reduce morbidity and mortality, and are 1A recommended in both uh, European and uh, U.S. guidelines. One of the problems that we face is that uh, spironolactone is not specific for the receptor, and this is sometimes the reason for side effects, and eplerenone is less tightly bound to the MR than spironolactone. And uh, we know from the registries that MRIs are underused, maybe due to fear of inducing hyperkalemia or worsening renal function, especially in high-risk patients. Another major problem that we face is that despite uh, this current treatment, according to the guidelines, the morbidity and mortality in this population remains high, especially in these patients hospitalized or visiting due to the compensation, the emergency room, where the event rate for the next three months, within three months, hospital rehospitalization and mortality goes up to 30, 35%. The objective of this study is to use phenerenone, which is a novel non-steroidal MRA that has greater receptor selectivity than spironolactone and better receptor affinity than eplerenone in vitro, and to compare the safety and efficacy of different once daily oral doses with eplerenone in patients who presented in the emergency room with worsening chronic heart failure, systolic heart failure, patients with reduced ejection fraction, and with type 2 diabetes and or chronic kidney disease. This is the design of the study. Uh, the patients have been randomized within seven days from the emergency room presentation, and after the initial stabilizations, we tested five different doses, starting from 2.5 up to 15, the patients, the dose have been uh, increased, up titrated after 30 days, and the patients have been followed up after 90 days, and then there was a safety follow-up for 30 more days. The primary endpoint of the trial was a proportion of patients with a relative decrease in NT pro BMP of more than 30% from baseline to day 90. And uh, the three major, main uh, exploratory endpoints for this phase 2B trial was a composite endpoint of death from any cause, cardiovascular hospitalization, or emergency presentation for worsening chronic heart failure until day 90, the change in efficacy biomarker from baseline to days 30, 60, and 90, and change in health-related quality of life from baseline according to the Kansas City Cardiomyopathy Questionnaire and the Five Dimension uh, Euro Quality of Life Questionnaire. And these are the primary uh, endpoint results. As you can see, on the um, left is the plerenone and then the five dose of phenerenone. The proportion of patients who had uh, an anti-pro-BMP decrease of more than 30% at day in, in 90 was similar in the phenerenone groups and the eplerenone group in the full analysis set. And uh, this is the first, uh, uh, the exploratory endpoint, the composite endpoint of death from any cause, cardiovascular hospitalization, 
or emergency presentation for worsening chronic heart failure, um, the, with the exception of the lower phenerenon dose that you can see here. Here's the plerenon. All uh, the other uh, doses of phenerenon uh, had uh, a lower percentage of patients with uh, the combos in a point. I remind you, however, that this was a phase two trial, non-powered to evaluate uh, this. This was an exploratory endpoint. And uh, if we go to the uh, main, uh, one of the main problems that we face in these high-risk patients, which is the patients with hyperkalemia or decrease in renal function as measured by estimated GFR of more than 40% at any time post-baseline, you can see here that uh, uh, 35 to 4.7% of patients have uh, an increase of potassium above 0.6. Only a few patients had uh, uh, an increase in potassium above 6. And uh, uh, about the uh, estimated GFR decrease of more than 40%, it was uh, 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 um, around four to 10 to 12% of patients that have a uh, decrease uh, in GFR more than 40%, the lower was uh, in the 10 milligram phenerenone dose, uh, which was 4.2%. And uh, if we look at the mean change of potassium from baseline, you can see that there was uh, a, an increase, which was uh, uh, lower in uh, the three uh, lower dose of phenerenone compared to the two higher dose and uh, eplerenone. In conclusion, in patients hospitalized for worsening chronic uh, systolic heart failure uh, with type 2 diabetes and or chronic kidney disease, the proportion of patients with a relative decrease in uh, anti-proBMP of more than 30% from baseline to day 90 was similar in eplerenone and phenerenone groups. The incidence of clinical composite endpoint of all-cause death cardiovascular hospitalization or emergency presentation for worsening chronic renal failure at day 90 was lower with the higher uh, phenerenone dose, with all dose except 2.5, that has been up, up titrated to 5, than with eplerenone, with the lowest, uh, lowest incidence observed in uh, the phenerenone uh, 10 to 20 uh, dose group, and all dose of phenerenone were well tolerated uh, with a similar incidence of treatment emerging adverse events in the eplerenone group and phenerenone groups, and hyperkalemia uh, was observed in uh, 45 patients, 4.5% uh, at any time post-baseline. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Filipatos. Now it's open for questions. Any comment? Yes. Hello, um, Ben Herschler from Reuters. Um, I wonder if you can comment a bit more on the on the secondary endpoint. Obviously, this is only phase two, and it's uh, you know wasn't the primary goal, but it uh, looks like an impressive reduction there of I think like forty four percent or hazard ratio of 0.56 on the the optimal dose. That seems. Uh, quite, uh, quite strong. I mean, can you comment a bit about where this leads the drug? I, I think that uh, the way you ask uh, the question, this is an excellent question, the way you ask the question, I actually think that you gave also the answer. Is, uh, is, uh, it was very promising, we are surprised, it was very promising, but this is a phase two trial, small event rate. Um, uh, all doses has a similar effect, and although there was not a dose response, uh, it, it went to this direction, uh, and um, you were right, I didn't show all the, the, the results here. Uh, this uh, phase two trial, as you pointed out, uh, phase two studies, as you pointed out, are uh, usually dose finding uh, trials. Uh, this uh, 10 uh, milligram phenerenone dose of titrated 20 had also the lower incidence in total of adverse events. But uh, as you pointed out, we should be careful and we need uh, an outcome trial if we want to have uh, uh, any other uh, conclusions. Yes, one question here. Yeah. 
Uh, we have, as you know, uh, already done a phase uh, 2A trial where we compared uh, finerenone with uh, spanerolactam. Uh, however, because of the metabolic profile that uh, uh, Epilerano has, which in these patients with diabetes is slightly, slightly better than spironolactam, we thought that this, for this phase to be trial, uh, um, it would be uh, the ideal comparator, Epilerano. One question there. Uh, Crystal Fenn with MedPage today. Um, so you mentioned that further study would obviously be needed. Uh, where are um, where are things in the in the process? Is a phase three planned started? Um, um, as uh, as you know, uh, there uh, um, a phase two B trial on diabetic nephropathy has been uh, presented uh, with uh, uh, promising results. Uh, uh, a few months ago in the, the, in the World Congress on uh, of Nephrology. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, there is a, a plan for uh, phase three uh, trials uh, in both population, population uh, of pa patients with diabetic nephropathy, but also of the, in this population of patients with worsening heart failure, uh, who, as you know, is a population at very high risk and uh, uh, chronic kidney disease uh, or diabetes. If there are no further questions, I